Wow. Researchers with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Okeanos Explorer spotted a remarkable sight of a deep-sea spider waltzing during their third dive of their 2017 Gulf of Mexico mission. Have a look. I've never seen one swimming. No. So Tina thinks this is from the order Pantopoda. That's a translation of Pantopoda is all legs, so it's a very appropriate name. Don't go away, because we've got more things from the deep sea to show you. Ancient worm monster found in the Philippines. Scientists have known about the giant shipworm for centuries, but none have seen a living, breathing specimen until now. Giant shipworms aren't actually worms, but bivalves, like clams and mussels. They live in three-foot-long tubular shells, planted in muddy, shallow bays. This unicorn of the mollusk world was recently discovered hanging out in the southern part of the Philippines. A local TV segment about the creatures tipped off a team from Northeastern University. They went to a lagoon in Mindanao's Sultan Kundara province and managed to collect five live worms. Back in the lab, researchers cut off one end of the shell and took out the slimy, black, baseball-sized mass of flesh. Unlike the common shipworm, which feeds on rotting wood, its giant cousin has bacteria in its gills that churn out nutrients from carbon dioxide. It still has digestive organs despite its unique mode of survival, but they're tiny from lack of use. It's not clear how many of the weird-looking creatures are left in the wild, so the team is keeping the exact location of the shipworm home a secret. Locals, though, have been harvesting the giant worms for years, eating it as an aphrodisiac, medicine, and just a tasty side dish. Pictures of deep-sea fishermen's strange harvest go viral. Just when you needed reminding of the absolute bizarre things that evolution has filled our world with, along comes Russian fisherman Roman Fedostov and his Twitter account. But let's back up. Fedostov is a deep-sea harvester based out of Murmansk in Russia's frigid far northwest. He's been cataloging the strange finds his trawler pulls up from the deep ocean, including species that live up to 5,000 feet down. A lot of this stuff isn't intentionally harvested, but turns up in the trawling nets anyhow. This is known as bycatch. But it sure is fascinating, and Fedorstov's sharing it with the internet. His Twitter account, where you can find these and other incredible images, now has a healthy 83,000 followers. Two-headed porpoise found. A group of Dutch fishermen discovered the first two-headed porpoise on record last month when they accidentally caught the animal while fishing in the North Sea. The bizarre animal was plucked from the ocean on May 30th near Hook van Holland and is the first known case of conjoined twin porpoises. Not sure if keeping the animal would be legal, the fishermen took a few snaps of the dead creature before throwing it back into the ocean. Scientists are now hoping to learn more about partial twinning in marine life through the photographs taken of that specimen. Experts have already confirmed the newborn male porpoise died shortly after birth because the tail, which allows them to swim, had not stiffened. They also pointed out the porpoise's heads had small hairs on the upper lips, which should have fallen out shortly after its birth. The body also still had its umbilical opening. The two-headed porpoise is the 10th recorded example of conjoined twins found among cetaceans. Irvin Campagne of the Erasmus MC University Medical Center in Rotterdam noted that even normal twins are rare among whales and dolphins. The two-headed porpoise, he says, is a result of two separate embryos fusing together or a zygote having partially split. However, scientists have yet to gain a full understanding of these animals. Faceless fish found in the abyss. Australian scientists have discovered a faceless deep sea fish off Australia's east coast during a month long expedition. 
The sampling the Abyss expedition begins from Bell Bay, Tasmania, and ends in Brisbane. The investigator research vessel is equipped with multi-beam sonar that can map the structure of the seafloor. The expedition surveys the abyssal level, up to 6,000 meters deep in the ocean. Sleds, dredgers, and grabbers are deployed in order to collect samples of animals and sediment. Scientists said animals in the abyss are often small and move slowly, and many of them don't have eyes or produce their own light through bioluminescence.